It's the new year, so you know what that means, resolutions. People across the world are making changes to better themselves for the upcoming year. The new year resolution would be uh, to keep being more graphic-wise with the um, degree that I got in doing art and things like that. I want to keep my mind more expanded. I need to eat healthier. There's no doubt about it. So hopefully I can lower my cholesterol and I'll live a little longer. <laughs> I hope I get married by next year. <laughs> You want to find a wife, why? Because I'm, I don't want to be alone. I'm getting old now. <laughs> Keep good grades, stay, stay working, you know, stay humble. That's what I'm trying to do. When making resolutions, David Burton, a clinical social worker and therapist with Global Wellness, says it's important to set realistic goals. Um, I think one good technique um, when making resolutions is drawing or making a picture or finding a picture that represents the resolution you're trying to accomplish because what we know about the brain is the brain functions in images and so usually that's how the brain receives data in, pic in, in picture form. Burton also says keeping resolutions can sometimes be stressful and it's important to stay focused. The goal setting is very, is very important it's a, and it's a skill. Um, I think one reason that people waver in New Year's resolutions is because they don't make um, appropriate goals. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times we'll start New Year's and let's say, for example, you've been smoking for 20 years and you say, okay, this year I'm going to stop smoking. I don't keep them when I make, make a New Year's resolution anyway. I'm not going to say I'm going to stop smoking because that's a lie. Now, some people too stop things cold turkey. But if we're talking about making um, effective resolutions, you want to make, um, there's a thing called SMART goals. Um, SMART goals is an acronym. S stands for specific, M stands for measurable, R stands for real realistic, A stands for obtainable, and T stands for time limited. You want to make specific goals. You want to make goals that you can measure. And so what resolutions should the most powerful man in the U.S. make this year? What do you think that President Obama's New Year's resolution will be? To get us all jobs and um, the, try to get the faith back in him. So I would definitely say that President Obama for his New Year's resolution should be resolved in trying to do some appropriate self-care. Mm -hmm. You know, taking some time out for himself to reflect and debrief, um, connecting with friends and family so he can get that shot glass of love mm -hmm. and connection so he can unload, he can release if you will. Mm -hmm. And I think if he does that, that will help him in his next four years in his tenure here um, as the president of the United States of America. So whether it's losing a few pounds, stop smoking, or just connecting with family and friends more, it's important to make the best out of your New Year's resolution. I'm Allegra Johnson for AURN.com. American Urban Radio Networks is Urban America's radio leader.